Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about one of the greatest family sitcoms of the 90s, Family Matters. This show started from 1989 and went all the way to 1998. And this show was one of the greatest to come out of that time frame, right up there with Home Improvement and, of course, Fresh Prince. It follows the true family sitcom preference where the show really centers around family. It's all about, you know, like your son gets himself into trouble at school or gets into trouble out on the streets doing something or other. Your daughter needs help with um, some problems she's got. You know, you got your friends, your neighbors, that sort of thing. Mostly just the kind of stuff that any person would deal with during their lifetime, especially when you're a teenager or a parent. And like any other family sitcom at the time, it was more on the comedic side, but it had its very serious moments. This show was not shy about bringing up some of the biggest problems like gambling, guns at schools, the works. And when you balance out that drama and the comedy, you get one of the best family sitcoms to ever hit television. But of course, that does not make a series. What really makes the series is the cast, of course. And these legendary cast members are Reginald Vell Johnson, who plays Carl Winslow, Joe Marie Payton, who plays his wife Harriet, Telma Hopkins, who plays Harriet's sister Rachel, Rosetta Lenore, who plays Carl's mom, Estelle Winslow. Darius McRae, who plays Eddie Winslow, the eldest son. Kelly Williams, who plays Laura Winslow. Jamie Foxworth, who played Judy Winslow. Brighton James, who played Richie. Sean Harrison, who played Eddie's best friend, Waldo Gerardo Faldo. The beautiful Michelle Thomas, who played Myra. And of course, the one, the only, Jaleel White, who played the legendary Steve Urkel. Most people who've seen the show know the personas that they all played. Eddie, he's the eldest, kind of the dumb one of the family, because he's always getting himself into some really big jams. But of course, Carl and Harriet are always there to help him, no matter what it takes. Laura is the smartest in the family. Not like a um, huge, uh, super genius kind of smart here, but very smart. She's good at getting A's. And of course, she has a bit of a boy problem, and that boy is Steve Urkel. He's a next-door neighbor. He's madly in love with her. He's, like, had that crush on her ever since they were, like, what, two years old, I think? And, you know, he could never get the hint that she is not interested in him. Although, funny story, close to the final episodes, she started to come around. And she actually ended up dating him during the final season. Judy Winslow, she was just the little girl who was just there. In fact... In about two or three years, she was written out of the show because, well, nobody really took a liking to her that I could remember. I mean, she was just there. The real centers of attention were Eddie, Laura, and without a doubt, Steve. Richie was the baby of the family, quite literally because he started off as a baby and he kind of grew up to be... Uh, a little elementary school kid until the show ended. Nothing really huge to say about him, to be honest, but he did have quite a few good episodes where he was a major focus point. Waldo Geraldo Faldo, again, is Eddie's best friend, but, you know, he became a real big friend to the entire family. He's dumber than a sack of hammers, but you know what? He's a good guy to have around because, you know, he's got your back no matter what kind of a jam you're in. And, of course, it turns out he is one awesome chef. Rachel, she is Richie's mother, and sadly, her husband died. I never did catch what happened exactly, but sadly, he died, and that's why she moved in with the Winslows to try to get a new start. And, you know, it, it was tough for her, because for years, she just couldn't get herself back out there, if you know what I mean, because her husband was her whole world, next to her son, of course. Estelle Winslow, of course, she was a riot. I mean, she was obviously the oldest of the family, and she was quite a lady. She could do all kinds of things. I've seen stories of her parachute jumping, riding on Harleys, and yet giving some great grandmotherly advice. Quite a lady. Myra, as most of us would remember, was Steve's girlfriend. That's right. He actually got himself a girlfriend instead of Laura. Well, before Laura, actually. And she was madly in love with Steve. I mean, she was after him right from the first time she made an appearance on the show. She was a little kooky, a little obsessive, mostly over Steve, of course. But, you know, speaking as any guy, if I had a girl like her obsessing about me, 
I would not complain very much at all. Harriet Winslow, of course, is your typical mom. You know, she gives you the orders. She tells you what to do. She's there for you when you need her. And one of the things I loved about her the most is that she was always good with the wisecracks. Whenever Carl said something, she would just snap back with a good wisecrack right back at him. And it was the kind of stuff that you would not even see coming. It would just make you crack up so hard. You could just laugh until you choked. I am not kidding. It was hilarious. Carl, of course, was the dad. He was a cop, a family man, a real good guy. Always believed in standing up for the little fella. He tried to help the family any way he could, especially if he tried fixing things. And clearly, he could not fix a sink to save his life. I am not kidding. He was one of those kind of stereotypical dads who could try to fix stuff, but he always ended up making it worse. And finally, we come to the main star of the show, Steve Urkel. <laughs> oh my God. He was the bane of their existence. He was the guy who drove everybody nuts. I am not kidding. He drove everybody crazy. Later on in years, he got a little more tolerable for them to work with. But during those early years, he was absolutely obnoxious. The person he drove crazy the most was, without a doubt, Carl. Because he was always breaking things. He was always getting in the way. He was driving him nuts. In fact, they had a little persona going on that when Carl finally had enough, he would say, Go home, Steve. But Carl, go home, Steve. But Carl, go home, go home, go home. I don't have to take this. I'm going home. But, of course, there was more to Steve that meets the eye. He was also a scientist, and he was always creating these contraptions. Probably his best contraption was the uh, machine that could turn him into whoever he wanted to. He used this thing several times to become famous people like Elvis, one of my favorites, Bruce Lee, which he did several times, and, of course, his most legendary persona, Stefan Urkel. Whenever Steve did any of this stuff, it showed how talented Jaleel White really was because he played every one of these parts so perfectly. I mean, when he's Steve, he plays him so well. When he plays Stefan, he's like an entirely different person, which was the idea of Stefan. He created him so he could get to Laura, if you know what I mean. Because, you know, she didn't want a dork like him, but a guy like Stefan, that's a different story. He made several appearances, and eventually Stefan actually became his own person because Steve cloned himself, and they put the clone in the machine, and now Stefan and Steve are two entirely different people who now know and talk to each other. But not only did Jaleel White play Steve and Stefan or the Bruce Lee version of him or the Elvis version of him, he also played a southern cousin named Myrtle Urkel. If you watch enough seasons of this show, you'll actually see her because she made quite a few appearances. And it really shows you how talented Jaleel White really is to play all these people. He did so perfectly. But of course, my most favorite moments is when he becomes Bruce Lee. He did this about three times that I remember. The first time was to get even with a few bikers at a bar. The second time, he and Carl became Bruce Lee because this gang tried to destroy this one place and uh, they were trapped inside with them, so they had to do something, of course. The third and final time that I remember was when he, Richie, and Richie's friend 3J turned into Bruce Lee and they became the Bruce Lee Trio to fight a whole bunch of gang members who were picking on kids on, in the park. They were even beating them up. And believe it or not, this actually stars legendary Power Ranger Jason David Frank as one of the game bangers. This show was a true must to watch back in the day. When it ended in 98, it was sad. All partings were such sweet sorrow. But, you know, the show just ran its course. That's all there was to it. As I've said before, a great show, a true testament to the 90s. If you've never seen it, you really should look it up. You are going to love it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.